Over the last century, technological advancements have caused a surge of popularity in the development of electric vehicles. They have been around for a lot longer than you might think, but the climate change crisis and subsequent focus on renewable energy sources have recently increased demand significantly. However, some are still skeptical over the technology's viability and position in the modern world. Today, we'll be discussing whether electric cars really are the future of the automobile industry. Let's get into the video. What are electric cars? To predict the future of electric vehicles, it's important to understand the technology. So, how do electric cars differ from regular cars that have to fill up with petrol or diesel at the gas station? Instead of relying on an internal combustion engine that requires fuel, electric cars have an electric motor. Inside the car, there is a large battery pack, which is used to power the motor. Like normal rechargeable batteries, this must be plugged into a wall outlet or a charging equipment. Instead of using fuel, which releases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, electric cars rely solely on electricity. As well as purely electric cars, many cars on the market are hybrid electric vehicles. These cars have both an internal combustion engine, which uses fuel, as well as electric motors that use energy stored in batteries. Hybrid electric cars differ from purely electric ones by the fact that they do not get plugged in to charge their batteries. Instead, regenerative braking and the internal combustion engine itself charge the battery. A resurgence of popularity in the 21st century. Contrary to popular belief, electric cars were first developed more than 100 years ago. Many intelligent inventors across the world made key breakthroughs, such as developing batteries and motors, that eventuated in the first small battery-powered vehicles and electric cars. A Hungarian man named Anjos Jedlik developed the first electric motor in 1827 and used it to power a small car in 1828. By 1900, the first mass-produced electric vehicles were produced in America and soon after, one-third of all vehicles on the road were electric. However, future developments in gasoline-powered cars meant that electric vehicles' early popularity declined to make way for the cheaper alternative. The early models of electric vehicles were more comfortable, quieter, and easier to drive than gasoline cars, and less smelly, as they didn't emit any gases. But despite all of these benefits, by the 1930s, they had all but disappeared off the roads. Consumers were more interested in the more cost-effective and convenient gasoline vehicles. Henry Ford began to mass-produce a range of gasoline vehicles, which lowered the cost of purchasing a car even further. Gasoline was becoming cheaper, and petrol stations were popping up all over the highways, which incentivized people to make the switch. Gas-powered cars could also drive further distances than their electric counterparts without having to stop and recharge. One interesting point to note is that while electric cars were no longer a popular option, electric trains became extremely popular and quite common. So why have electric vehicles begun to make a comeback? Partially because of the soaring gas and oil prices. The cost of running gasoline-powered cars started to rise in the 1960s and 1970s and tensions soared during the Arab oil embargo of 1973. This led to an increase in funding for research into electric cars, which was seen as a potential solution. Another significant reason why more attention was placed onto research and development of electric cars was due to environmental concern. As they don't use gasoline, they were seen by manufacturers as an eco-friendlier choice. If you're enjoying this video so far, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel so you can be sure to not miss out on any of our interesting content on electric vehicles in the future. Now, let's get into some of the benefits of electric cars. The Benefits of Electric Cars There are many arguments as to why electric vehicles may be the future of the automobile industry. The first key reason why is all down to the effect on the environment when using an electric car compared to a gasoline car. The type of fuel that a gasoline car uses is petroleum gas, which is made from hydrocarbons. When this is burnt, greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere, which directly increases climate change. The gas itself is also highly toxic, 
and when spilled into the ocean, sea life is killed and ecosystems destroyed. It has even been linked to serious diseases in humans, such as cancer. By making the switch to electric cars, emissions and air pollutants by the transport sector will decrease significantly, which will have a beneficial environmental impact. For anyone who is concerned about how they can decrease their effect on climate change, switching to an electric vehicle is an easy way to make a positive difference. In fact, environmental concern is still the number one reason why consumers purchase electric vehicles. Electric cars nowadays also drastically reduce noise pollution in cities, which is another influence for consumers to want to purchase one. Quieter roads make for a more peaceful environment, and disturbs local wildlife a lot less. For anyone who worries about their impact on the natural environment, electric vehicles are becoming a highly regarded choice of car. As climate change becomes more and more of a pressing issue to our world, choosing eco-friendly alternatives will become crucial. Already, governments are introducing subsidies and incentives for people to buy electric cars. Some countries have set up ambitious targets for the number of electric cars they want to see on their roads to decrease their country's effect on climate change. Another major reason why electric vehicles are increasing in popularity is that consumers want to decrease their long-term costs. An electric vehicle can be seen as more of an investment, where the main cost is the upfront purchase of the car, and the yearly cost of operating the car is a lot less than a regular car. Generally speaking, the maintenance of an electric car is less than a gasoline-based car, which decreases the cost of running it as well. Of course, electric cars use electricity to charge, but this is not nearly as much as paying for petrol. If gas prices continue to rise, it is likely that more electric vehicles will be on the road in the future, and may even outnumber gas-powered cars one day as well. Drawbacks of Electric Cars Despite all of the reasons why electric vehicles are increasing in popularity and may one day overtake the number of gasoline cars on the road, there are still several drawbacks. Electric cars are not a perfect solution, and some aspects of the technology are not ideal. Firstly, electric cars use lithium-ion batteries. These are essential to the running of an electric car. However, they require an enormous amount of energy to manufacture. In fact, the emissions created during the production of an electric car is higher than a regular gasoline-powered car. If the car is used to its full potential, the emissions used over the car's lifetime will eventually become less than the emissions from a gasoline-powered car, as electric vehicles do not emit greenhouse gases while they drive, like conventional cars do. When taking this into account, electric vehicles are still a greener option. Many potential consumers experience range anxiety. They aren't sure how far an electric car will drive before it needs to be recharged again. This is a valid concern as older versions of electric cars cannot drive for as long as conventional cars, and charging stations are not as commonplace as petrol stations. This may change if electric cars continue to rise in popularity, but currently in many parts of the world, charging stations would not be located often enough on long highways for electric vehicles to be a viable option for long journeys. Electric cars have also always been marketed as a luxury item which has put off many potential customers who assume they cannot afford one. Wealthy people often flaunt new models of electric cars, which come fitted with the most cutting-edge technology. All of these extra additions, such as LED headlights or windows that lighten and darken depending on the sun, increase the cost of the car. Electric vehicles are currently experiencing a surge of popularity with more and more people choosing to purchase one instead of a conventional gasoline-powered car. However, history has shown that electric vehicles have been the number one choice before until technological advancements led to cheaper alternatives, which soon replaced them on the roads. The reasons to purchase an electric vehicle seem to be growing, yet there are still several drawbacks that may influence the market and prevent these cars from ever overtaking gasoline cars in popularity. Electric vehicles may well be the future of the automobile industry, and a solution to reducing emissions by the transport sector, which will help to combat climate change. Yet perhaps history will repeat itself again, and maybe electric vehicles are just a trend that comes and goes throughout time.
What do you believe will happen in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.